Power alone doesn't solve problems. Control does. Behind every crushing machine and recycling line, there are decisions about safety, efficiency, and responsibility. This is where raw force meets engineering judgment and where mistakes carry real consequences. This is Forestry Insight. Someone made a dangerous mistake here. That powerful shredder takes a car apart impressively, but failing to drain the fuel tank first is pure negligence. All it takes is a single spark from grinding metal to ignite fuel vapors, and suddenly the entire operation turns into a serious fire risk. Some jobs don't have the space or budget for massive installations. That's where compact solutions like the RJS 300 compactor make sense. Load it with a skid steer, keep material moving with a small conveyor, and you get a system that's simple, mobile, and effective in tight conditions. It's a practical match for crews constantly moving between job sites. For mixed waste, few setups beat this combination. A single shaft shredder up front, followed by a baler that produces clean, compact bundles. It's efficient, controlled, and designed to reduce chaos downstream. Instead of abandoning his old car, this owner gave it one final dramatic send-off. Whether you see it as style or sentiment, it's certainly an unforgettable farewell. Now look at this machine in action. The Araco 95DK doesn't just crush cars, it consumes them from roof to rims, leaving nothing to chance. This is industrial grade engineering at work. Watching it operate is almost hypnotic. No hesitation, no slowdown, just relentless force. It makes you wonder what else this system could handle beyond scrap vehicles. How can a machine achieve similar output with a much smaller engine? That question leads us to an interesting comparison. RGS is known for its brute strength, a true workhorse for tough materials. Yet this newer Eurex Shredder, with a more modest 422 horsepower engine, handles the same workload. That points to a major leap in efficiency, less fuel consumed, lower operating costs, and smarter design doing more with less.
This marks the end of a bus that served its community for years. Hopefully, most of its components can be recycled and reused. Unfortunately, many buses rely heavily on fiberglass and plastics that aren't recyclable, creating long-term pollution. Honestly, manufacturers should be required to use recyclable materials. Otherwise, we're just creating waste we can't deal with, and that's an environmental problem we're building ourselves. Ever wondered how a 67-foot fishing vessel is dismantled piece by piece? What you're seeing is a precise dance between a 400-ton marine lift and steel-jawed excavators. Fiberglass cracks, wood splinters, and decades of maritime history come apart. This isn't just destruction, it's a mechanical performance where every machine plays a role. Blink and you'll miss the wheelhouse splitting open like a shell. This is marine salvage at its most intense. It's incredible how raw brute force can be refined into clean efficiency. These shredders use counter-rotating gears with hardened teeth that pull and tear through whatever enters the chamber. The operator's control matters just as much as the machine. He's not throwing metal, he's placing thousands of pounds with surgical precision. It's satisfying to see metal recycled, but what about plastics, fluids, and glass? Hopefully, hazardous materials like antifreeze and oil are being captured properly. Recycling only works when the entire process is handled responsibly. This isn't just crushing, it's controlled recycling at its best. The Argus VSD 950 Titan from Bandit, powered by 700 horsepower and twin shafts, shreds entire vehicles to reduce messy waste volume and support cleaner scrap management for environmental benefit. Smart Design shows up again with a three-directional crushing system inside the Brixia Makina Rompi Motory. Hydraulic rams converge from multiple angles, compressing engine blocks until they fail under pressure. No torches, no cutting, just force. Everything happens inside a sealed chamber, improving safety and containment. Watch this setup and it feels like an industrial orchestra. Presses, cranes, and processors move in sync. The amount of pressure required to flatten thick steel beams like paper is a reminder of how unforgiving these machines are.
Falling into one of these systems would be one of the worst ways to die imaginable. It's a harsh but necessary reminder of why strict safety protocols exist. Some people treat roads like a free-for-all until a 40,000-pound excavator enters the scene. Scripted or not, it's a reality check delivered with steel and hydraulics. You can't argue with that kind of mass. Stay humble, stay aware, and respect heavy equipment before things turn ugly. The next generation of tire shredding is here. The Raptor RQ 122, with 200 horsepower and an integrated water spray system, turns whole tires into 3-inch chips with far less dust. Reduced fire risk, better cooling, and a glimpse into the future of heavy recycling technology. Comtech Crambo Wood Shredder takes forest waste and turns it into valuable biomass. With 610 horsepower and dual shaft technology, it processes up to 160 cubic meters per hour. This is the kind of sustainable solution communities need for waste management and renewable energy production. No torches, no sparks, just raw hydraulic force. Eagle Claw shears clamp down and slice steel rails like warm butter. Behind them, another machine clears debris using magnets or grapples, keeping the entire operation moving without pause. The Raptor 800 with HW900 isn't just powerful, it's relentless. With 640 horsepower, high torque, and track mobility built for brutal terrain, it turns forests into mulch fast. The real question is, what's the hardest job you designed this machine for?
They call it a shredder, but the Pronar MRW2 is more like a waste-eating dragon. Powered by 565 horsepower and dual shafts, it chews through green waste, wood, and even scrap. What material would you dare feed it? Watching the Hamel VB15DK is like seeing chaos become order. Its twin shaft pull-in system crushes massive wood waste effortlessly, processing up to 120 tons per hour. Pure control after total disorder. There's something deeply satisfying about turning raw logs into perfect beams by hand. The Woodland Bumblebee Sawmill handles Douglas fir up to 24 inches wide, using stable rails and repeatable cuts. It's the kind of setup that makes you want to upgrade your own workshop tools. Splitting logs in sub-zero snow feels like child's play with the Farmy WP30. A 13-horsepower engine pushes through frozen wood, processing up to 3 cubic meters per hour without complaint. And this isn't just a forwarder, it's a forest ninja in motion. With eight-wheel drive and hydropneumatic suspension, it carries up to 14 tons across rough terrain with smooth controlled stability through dense woodland. 